Hello, everyone. Hope you are well on this Tuesday night. It is December 19th, 2023. As I record this video, it is about 8.20 p.m. Eastern Time. Prepare. Prepare like never before. And I know people are going to be like, God, oh, you're being, you know, you're being a little crazy with that. No, I'll, I'll explain what I mean by that. Okay. Because two things that I've read today are really concerning, okay? And the news that I just saw about an hour or so ago coming out of Colorado uh, is going to stand. It, it's all the predictions that are being made have been made about 2024 and the concerns just got stood right on its head. And uh, it's going to be very interesting. Hold on, hold on tight, white knuckle during 2024, all right? So I also have a very good, before I forget, I have a very good passage that I will share towards the end of this video, okay? Very good news. So stay tuned for that. But 2024, y'all, and let me be clear here. I'm not saying go out and go to the store tonight and buy the store down, clear the shelves, buy all the toilet paper. No, no, no. Most of us here prepare, so we don't have to do that. What I mean by that, prepare like never before, is we have some time. We we have some time here, but I'm super, super concerned about 2024, especially as we get into the election cycle, okay? Two things I'm going to report on here. First thing, I saw this story, early, story earlier today, a, an economist this guy's name is Harry Dent. He is predicting that we will see the biggest crash of our lifetime as far as financially in 2024. Also, I'm going to go into that. Also, what I just saw a while ago, maybe y'all hadn't heard it yet. Maybe you have the Colorado Supreme Court has declared that Trump will be ineligible for the presidency under the U.S. Constitution Insurrection Clause. He will be removed from the Colorado State's 2024 presidential primary ballot. So Trump will be disqualified from the 2024 ballot. This has been ruled by the Colorado Supreme Court. Again, uh, they're saying this is the clause of the 14th Amendment. The clause of 14th Amendment applies. Trump is expected to appeal. I'm sure he will. Now, so again, to recap, unless a federal judge slaps this down or Supreme Court or whatever, I don't, I don't know how that works. I'm not a legal expert. So if this stands, if this, if this, if this is allowed to stand, then Trump will not be on the ballot in Colorado for the primary. So you know what that means. He'd have no shot, I, I don't think. Uh, now, I'm not here to say, yeah, you're nailed Trump. Whatever you think about him is your business. You can hash it out in the comments. I don't care. Make it, make it, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, appropriate, you know, respectful. I'm not going to go either way. I I'm just saying that if this, is, if this stands, y'all, <laughs> I'm just saying, hold on. Hold on tight. Like, I don't know what what what's the, the next level after white knuckle because purple knuckle, I don't know, pink knuckle. I don't know, maybe, maybe Miss Dog knows, but I don't know. But it's going to be some kind of a ride next year because if that stands and the guy's not on the ballot, um, I'm just saying there's going to be, there's going to be trouble. I, 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 I don't know what it's going to look like yet. I don't know. I'm not going to say. But uh, we just need to do what we can to prepare for the unexpected. Because I, I, we're in uncharted, uncharted territory here, as far as I know. Uh, new, new pastures here. And they look, they look dangerous to me. Prep like never before. Maybe it's just time. It might be time to just go gray mode. 
fly under the radar as, as much as possible. I don't even know if that's possible anymore in this day and age. Spiritual readiness, because this is a spiritual battle. This is a spiritual thing, okay? This is not about politics anymore. It's not It's not uh, red, blue. It, it, it's, it's out the door. This is, this is spiritual, okay? That's the first order of preparation is your spiritual readiness, all right? Faith, your faith. The next is your physical. We need to do what we can physically to be in the best condition that we can as we're able, okay? The next is your provisions, your supplies. Now, I know that's different for everybody. That's your business, okay? That's just from my point of view. Um, and security, personal security, self-defense. There's only so much we can do. There's only so much you can control, y'all. We can do what we can. The rest is in God's hands. It's in God's hands. And that's and that's who uh, we need to concentrate on. Let's focus on Jesus and the storm. Because the storm, buddy, it just started whipping up. And it's coming. Like I said, I think we got some time. But I don't think anybody can predict. I don't think anybody can predict what it's going to look like next year. And it's coming like a freight train, y'all. Like a freight train down that track. And it looks ugly. I think it looks ugly, ugly. And it really does. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep a good attitude. We need to keep a good attitude. And another thing I want to say is, we're in the holidays right now. Don't let this sidetrack your your uh, your spirit, okay? We got a little time, like I said. Don't freak out right now. Get together with your family, your friends. Enjoy this time. Enjoy. Jesus is the reason for the season. Enjoy the holidays for the right reason, you know, for and, and celebrate, celebrate like we like we should. Okay, that's what we're gonna do here. That's what we're going to do. All right. After that, be thinking. You can be thinking of things you need to do, things we need to start shoring up on our preps. Okay. And we really need to bear down, y'all. We really need to bear down. But right at this moment, you know, of course, be uh, vigilant when you're outside and such. Of course, when you're going out, you just don't know what's around the corner, y'all. We really don't. A U.S. economist predicted that 2024 will bring the biggest crash of our lifetimes. Harry Dent said that the everything bubble, quote unquote, the everything bubble will burst in the new year. We've been printing money like it's going out of style since about 2009, probably before that, he said. And we're up to, uh, $27 trillion over the last 15 years. He says that it's 100% artificial. The biggest, we will see the biggest, this is his prediction, the biggest single crash of our lifetimes. Um, it will start with holiday debt hangover going through the holidays right now. And it, this holiday debt hangover will, will be particularly nasty this year. It will be bigger than the crash of 1929 to 1932, the great depression. And it will really kick into gear around mid year is what this guy's saying. Now you throw in the election cycle on that and, uh, Lord y'all, I, we need to be praying like every hour, every day for sure. He said, we'll see, def you'll see, it keep seeing inflation. We'll see deflation. He thinks that housing, the housing uh, market could come back to reality, actually. And he thinks that it will hurt the rich more than the average person. I don't know about that now. I don't know. If, you know I don't know. I'm just not that knowledgeable on this, on this, you know, I'm not an econ, I'm not an economist. That's for sure. He said that the average rich person will lose 50 to 80% of their lifetime accumulated net worth. Now, there were plenty of people that got rich, the rich get richer, they say, that got rich uh, during the Great Depression. <coughs> so, but he's saying that a lot will lose, you know, a lot of rich will lose. The average person, average, average person may lose their job for six months to two years, but they will recover. And that we will see a millennium boom that will go into 2037. And that the middle class will slowly start to catch up 
and start recovering. That sounds optimistic. Again, I don't know about that. Share your thoughts on that. This guy has been known to make some pretty accurate calls. But again, predictions, you just don't know. People are throwing things out there. So, but I thought that was very interesting. He has some interesting viewpoints and I just wanted to share that with y'all. And I wanted to, um, and I was going to, I had already written my notes on that. And then before I came on to do this video, I saw this bit about uh, Colorado Supreme Court. And I'm like, holy smoke. So, uh, yeah, is it just time to go gray mode, y'all? I don't Just to just fly under the radar and just blend in and keep praying, maybe. Oh, we, for sure, keep praying. But uh, I don't know. It's There's a lot going on, a lot flying around. Not to mention hurricanes and... Uh, earthquakes all over the place and uh we got wars that could could fly way out of control I, I don't know i mean i think the middle east you know if 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 israel can go ahead and start and, and and finish that up over there maybe that'll start to calm down it could it could do the opposite it could it could mushroom i don't know uh the war in eastern europe with russia and ukraine again don't know hopefully that will they'll work out some kind of a, uh, some kind of deal there who knows that could that could expand and go in more into Europe. We don't know. We just don't know. So 2024, like I said, it's going to be super, super interesting. Hopefully it won't be super, super scary, but we need to prepare just in case y'all. All right. That's my main message. I'm going to go to the passage because it's a really good one. I'm going to continue in first Timothy where I was last night. First Timothy. Starting with chapter, okay, chapter one, first Timothy chapter one, starting to verse 12. Uh, this is uh, continuing the writings of Paul, the apostle Paul. He said, thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who has given me strength that he considered me faithful, appointing me to this service, to his service, even though I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent man, I was shown mercy because I acted in ignorance and unbelief. The grace of our Lord was poured out on me abundantly, along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Here is trustworthy. Here is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of who I am the worst. But for that very reason, I was shown mercy, so that in me, the worst of sinners, Christ Jesus might display his unlimited patience as an example for those who would be believe on him and receive eternal life. Now, to the King, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 I mean, that's just something the worst of sinners. He was calling himself the worst and he was, he was a bad dude now, really bad. But the mercy, the patience of our Christ, that's powerful. That's powerful. We're all broken. We all fall short of the glory, right? But probably very few of us have done what Paul did in his early days, you know? And yet, he made the turnaround and uh, and has received eternal life, no doubt. So, I think that's just very encouraging. That's good news. And uh, it, it it's just feels good to read that. So, share your thoughts. Let's stay in the Word. Let's stay in prayer as well. Let's keep in preparation. Enjoy your holiday, though. Enjoy your time with family, with friends. Whatever you're doing, treat yourself. All right? Let's be careful when we go out. Let's remain vigilant too. So share your thoughts again. God bless you. I will see you soon.